Hey folks, got a debut match for you. This is my brand new OU singles team, and I'm debuting it with a friend battle against Luna874, uh, who I've battled before and who uh, participated in my 2 to the 5th subscriber tournament. I'm almost at 2 to the 6th subscribers now, and I'm trying to decide what I want to do uh, for that tournament. Anyway, um, as you may or may not be able to tell, this is a... Um, this is a Sandstorm team. Uh, you've got some familiar faces here, uh, a lot of them taken from my Gore team, um, but several new breeds. So um, this is a this is a nice team. This is the first uh, time I've been able to have it in a full six-on-six -six battle. Um, so anyway, I lead off with a lead Aerodactyl. You know, nothing very special with it. You know, uh, it's got Stealth Rock, and it's the fastest Stealth Rock in the game. Um, you know, besides in ubers. Anyway, Azelf um, attacks me with Fire Punch, which I wasn't expecting, I guess maybe predicting a switch, but in any case it does break my sash, so I figured um, it's probably going to go explode, in, explode now, and so I got to switch out, and I switch into Uchikoma, my Metagross you've seen before. Um, what I wasn't predicting was a Stealth Rock. Um, in retrospect, I guess what uh, my opponent was doing was predicting a taunt to prevent uh, him from setting up Stealth Rock. Anyway, I go ahead and go for a bullet punch, still predicting an explosion, uh, and just you know trying to do as much damage as I can. As I'll use this Fire Punch, which um, this uh, this Uchikoma does not have an, uh, the Akaberry, so that's going to you know hit quite hard. And I'm like, geez, why isn't this guy exploding? I'm I'm just really surprised that he's not exploding. So. Um, you know, I do some more switching. I switch into Quants, um, my Tyranitar, who you've seen on my monocolor team, uh, whip up a nice Standstorm, and now Azel goes ahead and explodes. Uh, which, you know, that's okay. Quants resists it, and I figure it can take it, and it does with, like, no HP. Um, barely, barely survives. But it does survive, so it's not the end of the world. Um, so, but, yeah, uh, not that great because now uh, Tyranitar is kind of crippled. Anyway, I'm predicting a bullet punch here from Caesar, and so I'm not going to stay in. Oh wait, I apparently am going to stay in um, because I just wanted a death fodder because Quants couldn't do anything uh, ever, I guess. Um, so I I do lose Quants, um, but I've got it. You know, it did its job. There's some Sandstorm action going on here, and now I go ahead and switch in Roomba, my uh, Magnazone. Um, which is specially trained to kill uh, to kill um, Caesars. Um, it's got the hidden power fighting, which is 4x effective, and so it takes it out in one hit. So that's all well and dandy. Um, and you know, I've taken out what two of his Pokemon, and he's taken out one of mine. Um, anyway, out goes Electivire, um, and so I'm not going to stay in for that. I don't think. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull out, um, not sure what I'm expecting, probably a fire punch or something like that. Uh, so I go ahead and send in uh, Aerodactyl, um, and let's see what I get here. Uh, oh no, and so I get a cross chop here, which is um, only normally effective against Peter, although it is enough to take him out, Peter, my, Pater my Pterodactyl, um, but you know, leaving in Magnuson would not have been a good idea. Um, so he's got the life orb, and my uh, Kamiko is going to be able to outspeed him. And I'm really—I was expecting him to switch out, um, you know, fearing an earthquake. But uh, Luna outpredicts me, and so I have a U-turn, which is going to be, you know, rather than, um, you know, me having the switch advantage, he has the switch advantage, I guess, or he gets a free attack in. Um, and so I sent in Uchikoma. Uh, not necessarily the best choice out here, um, but I was predicting the Ice Punch, and so that's not going to do too much damage to me at all. Um, but Uchikoma is being worn down, and its HP isn't that high anymore, so this isn't going particularly well. Um, the Sandstorm's raging, um, and Electivire is taking damage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and Bullet Punch. I know it's going to be resisted, but I figure that in the Sandstorm I might be able to take it out, and indeed I do take it out. Oh no wait, I don't! It survives with like 1 HP, and I'm like, ah, jeez! But that's okay, Ice Punch still isn't going to kill me. Um, I'm glad he didn't use Earthquake or anything, um, and the Life Orb damage is going to be enough to deal him in. So um, that's all well and good. Um, but I've got a lot of wounded Pokemon on my team, 
uh, and I think we got the same number of uh, KOs. Uh, so anyway, he sends out Absol, who uh, is going to KO me with Sucker Punch. Yeah, Absol is deadly. Um, when used right, it really transcends its tier. I think it, I think it's UU, but it it can perform pretty well in any tier um, if you got your predictions right. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Celebi, um, and Absol uses Snatch, predicting me to use uh, some kind of recovery move or a substitute or something. But instead, I'm going for a U-turn, which is gonna be super effective. Um, and since this is a physical Celebi, it does a whole lot of damage. Yeah, you don't often see physical Celebis, they're usually special. Um, but, again, you've seen the Celebi before on my, um, my monocolor team that I used in, um, in Purple Kazooie's tournament. Uh, and anyway, uh, I wasn't predict- I didn't realize that he'd have superpower, and that's gonna one-hit KO my Roomba. <laughs> yeah, um... Me and my wife have a Roomba, and it is just the cutest little appliance ever. It's like pets for people who don't actually want pets. Um, anyway, uh, we both die thanks to some life, or life orb damage on Azul's part, and so now we're each sending in um, Pokemon not knowing who the other's going to send out. So he sends out a Cresselia, um, which I cannot stand. I, I just do so poorly against Cresselias. And I send out Kamiko for the scouting, and so I'm going to be able to U-turn out. Although I'm really not sure what I'm going to U what I'm going to send in because it's Cresselia. It's it's freaking a, a be it's a freaking beast. I really don't know what I'm going to do, um, but I do know that I don't want um, my Flygon in there. So I go ahead and send in um, my Celebi, and uh, Cresselia's got Trick. And so it's just tricked onto me something bad. I think it's a flame orb. And now it's got leftovers. Yeah, so I got a flame orb. Um, and so that's really not good for me. Um, especially since I am physical. Uh, so I'm just trying to fodder myself at this point. Yeah, you see that Seed Bomb is doing absolutely nothing. Um, so Cresselia goes ahead and uses Ice Beam. Which, thanks to the fact that my Celebi is bulky. Um, since it's supposed to be a cleric. Um you know, not really hurting me much, um, and I'm just recovering up the damage. I think I'm going to try to stall him out, um, but, or at least, you know, try to stall him out as much as possible. If I can, you know, get rid of all those, uh, ice beams, then maybe I can send Flygon back in, um, uh, but it is what it is, um, and it's progressively doing more and more damage thanks to my burn. Well, maybe it's doing less and less. Maybe it's under 50, I don't know. But anyway, um, my opponent decides that a Stall War is not for him, and switches out uh, Cresselia and sends in Heatran, the other Pokémon that's the bane of my existence. And even though I had tons of Pokémon who could deal with uh, Heatran on this team, none of them are still alive. So Heatran makes a l great late-game sweeper, um, and here you see, you know, it, that's what it's doing. So, um... It, I don't think it's, I guess it's probably Scarfed, um, although it's interesting that even Scarfed, no, I guess it can't be Scarfed considering, um, I was faster, or, yeah. So anyway, I go ahead and send in Kamiko, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and, this is my last Pokemon, and so I consider what I'm going to do, because he's got two Pokemon left, Cresselia and this guy, and so if he switches in, I can't, if I use Earthquake, he's gonna switch into Cresselia, and no KOs for me, um, but otherwise there's no way I can take out that thing, so I have to decide which Pokemon I want to kill. And I decide I'm going to predict that he's going to switch into Cresselia, predicting my Earthquake. And so I go ahead and use Outrage, um, which is going to be the, the attack that does the most damage. Um, and indeed, well, it's not, it doesn't actually take out Cresselia, which is kind of crazy, but I do have the Choice Scarf, and it was a switch, so free attack, and I do take out Cresselia. Um, but I'm locked into Outrage no matter what happens, and so there's no way, you know, barring a miracle, that I'm going to be able to take out... Oh yeah, now I'm confused on top of anyth on top of everything else. And so there's no way that I'm going to be able to take out Heatran. Um, but you know, I'm not, a, I'm not someone who quits, uh, and I'm just going to let this battle play out as it's going to. Uh, I do manage to get the, other, the next Outrage, which is great. But, as you can see, it's not going to do enough. Um, and Heatran packs Dragon Pulse, 
um, which is going to do a lot of damage. In fact, it's going to KO me, and the battle is now over. So, Luna874, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, everyone else, this is a new team that you can challenge, so comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and uh, enjoy. So long.